Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a couple of different storage options for your Tesla dash cam and why I chose the option that I did. So stay tuned. All right, first things first, all Tesla Model Ys and all current Teslas come with this 128 gigabyte thumb drive um, pre-installed in the car for the Tesla dash cam. And I think this is honestly probably fine for a period of time. 128 gigabytes will provide adequate amount of storage. Um, but I have read that the, these drives, they're not necessarily built, these thumb drives, they're not necessarily built for long-term write durability um, or even kind of being able to tolerate the extreme heats in the car. Uh, so that's why I looked at a couple of different options that may provide me greater long-term write durability as well as you know more extreme operating temperatures that can operate a wider range of uh, vehicle temperatures during the summertime. Um, so let's take a look. All right, so these are the two different options that I looked at here. Uh, the first is this micro SD card. It's a high endurance micro SD card. And then the second was a SSD, so a solid state drive that can plug into the USB-A port uh, in the glove box. Um, I was primarily looking to expand the storage, but then also more importantly, uh, I wanted to kind of reinforce that long-term write durability and being able to have something that can tolerate the high extreme temperatures inside the car during those hot summer months. So what I ended up ultimately choosing was the high endurance micro SD card, uh, specifically the Samsung Pro Endurance micro SD card. Um, this is the largest capacity that they offer. It's 256 gigabytes, so it's double than what the Tesla currently comes with. And I paired this micro SD card with the um, SanDisk Mobile Mate um, micro SD card reader. Um, and so that plugs in to the USB-A port uh, in the glove box. And the reason why I chose the high endurance micro SD card is that it was specifically built to design and designed to work in these high write applications like we see in dash cams or CCTVs. Um, you know, it's, it's been said that the Samsung Pro Endurance card is built to last up to 140,000 hours of recording. And then it also has a very wide operating temperature from negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So my friends that are not in the US, that's 25 degrees Celsius all the way up to 85 degrees Celsius. And now I'm hoping that the car never gets that hot. And, but the highest temperature that I've seen internally in the car is about 144 degrees Fahrenheit. And that wasn't even a super hot day. That was like a upper 80s day during the SoCal summers. Um, it still got up to 144 degrees inside the car. Um, I also like the fact that it's even more compact than the thumb drive that comes in the car. Um, so even with the card reader uh, and the micro SD card in that card reader, it's still much smaller and doesn't really protrude, protrude much into the glove box, glove box at all. Um, so it's really nice because if your top is tossing something into the glove box quickly, there's less of a chance for something to snag on that card or the thumb drive and break it off. Um, and then the one downside though, and I'll talk about why an SSD, an SSD is better for some individuals, is that the biggest capacity, as I mentioned, in this particular drive is only 256 gigabytes, which is still double than what the car comes with, but it really pales into comparison in what we see in modern day SSDs. So if you're using the storage for things other than the dash cam or sentry mode, you may find that capacity to be a little limiting. So now it brings me to the other storage option that I considered but not, did not end up going with. It's a uh, solid state drive or SSD drive that can be plugged into the USB-A port uh, in the glove box. Um, the SSD, it's also another great option for certain individuals. Um, the great thing about SSD is that, is that they can have huge storage capacity. So one, two plus gigabytes of storage. And that's a lot bigger than what we see in those micro SD cards. Yes, they are bigger. They take up a little bit more space in the glove box, but you know, if you really need the capacity, it's there for you to have. Um, you know, there's no moving parts in an SSD, just like a micro SD card. So it's still gonna be really rugged and reliable. Um, it may not necessarily have the extreme right capacity and, and high endurance as a micro SD, as a high endurance micro SD card but I would still think it would still last a very long time, especially if you have like a one, two gigabyte SSD drive where it can write over that space multiple times, um, you have much more space to write over. Um, so I have seen a few people that have had issues with an SSD over time, um, but then honestly, I've also seen that with some micro SD cards too. So you really have to pick your poison. I think if you're really looking for having as much storage as possible, 
the SSD is probably a good option for you. So if you are going to be using the storage for things other than the dash cam or sentry mode, so like maybe you have a huge uncompressed music library that you like to listen to, um, an SSD is probably going to be the best choice for you because you can get those large capacities. So for me, it really just came down to the overall form factor. Um, I really liked having the small micro SD card just plugged into that uh, S micro SD card reader versus having like an SSD kind of just floating around in the glove box. Um, you know, I don't necessarily need that huge capacity. I don't have a huge music library. I stream most of my music through Spotify. Um, so the micro SD card worked perfectly for me. Um, so really you just have to find out what is going to be working best for you. Do you need that large capacity or do you value more compact storage that's in your glove box? So once you decide which option is best for you, all you need to do is remove that old drive, put in the new drive, and then format your new drive in your Tesla. It's that simple. So real quickly, we'll go ahead and take a look and, how, and show you how easy it is to install that new storage device. Okay, so before you remove your Tesla thumb drive, you just wanna be sure that your dash cam and sentry mode is not recording. So the dash cam should have a pause symbol on there. So if you notice that there is a red dot, that means your dash cam is currently recording and writing. So you wanna tap your dash cam just to pause that recording. Uh, once it's paused and then you ensure that sentry mode is also not recording, you can then go ahead and remove your old Tesla thumb drive. All right, it's super simple to do. All you have to do is to reach into your glove box, hope that you have tiny hands and then just pull out the old thumb drive just like that. All right, now you can go in and plug in your new storage drive to that USB A port. So try to squeeze your hand in there as best as you can and plug it in just like that. So you can see how little space that micro SD card takes up with that uh, card reader. If you didn't format your new storage drive uh, on your computer before installing in your Tesla, it's really easy to format that new drive in vehicle. All you need to do is go to controls, go to safety, and then scroll down to format USB drive. Once you click format USB drive, um, your Tesla will format that drive to the correct file system. And then you should be able to start recording to your dash cam uh, in a few seconds. So it's that simple. So I hope you guys found this video helpful in making a decision uh, when it's time to upgrade your original 128 gigabyte Tesla thumb drive. Um, it's really gonna come down to personal preference, whether you value increased storage or a lot more storage versus having something a little bit more compact in your glove box, uh, but maybe has greater write, write durability. Um, all these items that I talked about, I will link in my description box below. So if you are interested in purchasing an SSD or a micro SD card and the, and the, re the card reader, all that information will be linked in the description box below. Um, you know, I really hope you guys found this useful. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We'll continue to get to bring you guys new content as we continue to learn more about a car um, and then just kind of how it fits the needs of our daily life. Um, so thank, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.